self-titled Living Legend for my album. Um, been through a lot before rap music, you know, and then got to the rap stage and went through even more that you know ups and downs that that the world seen you know so at this point it wasn't just you know regular hood shit you know it was now the world watching you and uh and i made it through all of that you know what i'm saying so in my mind i feel like i'm a living legend you know what i mean to be at this height in the game to 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 to, to be so far down and then to rise above it all and to be able to drop a, a full length eight LP, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know what I'm saying, to myself. I'm surprised at myself. And if anybody out there been through a lot, you know what I mean, and, and w was worse than me, and down on the bottom, and you rose up, you are a living legend yourself. No matter who you is, male, female, it don't matter, man. You know what I'm saying, you a living legend. So clap it up for yourself if you've been through what I've been through, or worse, and made it out. You a living legend. The cover for the album, Living Legend, the artwork is uh, uh, a remake of, of Huey P. Newton. You know what I mean? Um, he had the gun, the rifle, and the spear in, in both hands. Um, uh, you know, I just felt, you know, right now the way the game's going, um, you know, street music, real hood street music is starting to get pushed to the background more. And you know that popcorn candy lo candy lollipop shit is what's really you know people and I'm, I feel like a revolutionary nigga bringing that shit back. I'm bringing the streets back with the cover, you know what I'm saying? With my music, m with me personally, you know what I'm saying? So I felt that was real revolutionary. Um, so I you know remade and he is a legend, you know what I'm saying? And the artwork in the album is a remake of all the legends I feel were legends. Some are living, some are not. And um, like like Muhammad Ali, you know, I remade his famous iconic pose when he knocked out Larry, um, when he knocked out, um, uh, I forgot who he knocked out, but uh, um, he was in the ring and I'm, the iconic pose. Um, Michael, um, Michael Jordan, one of his iconic poses with the towel around him in the jersey and he was it's real simple but it's iconic you know michael jordan he's a living legend uh mike tyson when he had all three uh boxing belts on you know i i, I remade that you know all the living legends all the legends if they're here or not you know what i mean tupac when you know had the blunt and he was like this and you know that's that was that was you know god bless the dead that's a legend that was my favorite artist in life, you know what I mean? And I just wanted to redo that. And you know, just to give you the real feel of a living legend, you know what I'm saying? Fridays now is the new Tuesday. Albums don't come out Tuesdays no more. So, um, it's no significance of it, but uh, I'm glad it dropped. It's the month of my birthday. It's, you know, the cancer month, shout out to the cancers. You know, my birthday the 18th. And um, it's dead middle of summer. Just smack dab dead middle of summer. So, you know, uh, I think it was, a, it was perfect timing. You know, the label, me and the label went back and forth for which dates was good. And, and I wanted to push it far down summertime as I could, you know, to get everybody else out the way and let me have my, sl my space, man. Give me my slot, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of administrative stuff going on, you know, a certain amount of songs. It was supposed to only be 10, but I fought. I fought tooth and nail for one more. I'm like, you gonna give me one more. And, um, but I like, you know, most of my, my mixtapes, if you, if you go back to my mixtapes, they, they, I don't have a lot of records on my mixtapes. I, I, I'm in and out like a robbery. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you can have 16, 17 songs. The consumer's ear is not like how it used to be. After the seventh, eighth song, they kind of get bored and tired and they want to move on to the next shit. So, you know, my mixtapes, I'll put nine records on there. You know, I'm not, I'm, you know, because if you got 18 records, that's, you got two mixtapes right there. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of like did it the same way, um, just with 11 though, you know what I mean? 11, 12-ish kind of, you know what I mean? But uh, we did 11 on this one. It's in and out like a robbery. You know, I gave them strong, 
strong records and I ain't waste no time with it. You know what I mean? Ain't no fillers and just keep moving. You can just listen to it on your ride out of town or something like that and next thing you know you there and the, the album's over. You know what I mean? Me and Eddie Mix. Yeah, we sat down and and um really thought about, you know, what you know, what's what should be the sequence of 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 what we're trying to tell the people, what we want the people to hear, you know, first, second, third. Okay, we should go here now. You know what I mean? Okay, now let's smoke one. Okay, now let's get back into Okay, now let's give them some real shit. Okay, now let's end it off. You know what I mean? So that's what we did with that. Yeah, it's definitely a flow. It starts off it starts off with energy, the energy that you used to from gunplay. You know, I had to get hit him with that. And usually you would go, you know, you get, put all the energetic records first. Um, the second song, I kind of wanted to go to Bible on a Dash feel, a feel of a Bible on a Dash to let them, you know, because a lot of people, you know, that that's the record that they know and the vibe that they love from Gunplay alongside the, the turn up, you know. And um, we went we went with Just Won't Do featuring my artist PJK. And it's, it's, a, it's really a, a, a Bible on a dash feel to it. So we went there and then we hit him with the Maybach sound with Rick Ross, Be Like Me. And you know, that's when we kind of start going up. You know what I mean? With the, as far as the vibe. And then now, you know, after a while it was time to smoke one, chill, relax. You know what I mean? Then we turned up a little bit more and then we gave him that real shit, and then we ended it with my life, you know, leave the game, you know what I'm saying? With my mom on the, my mom in the intro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so the first record is called Tell Him, and it's, it's, it's like an intro, if you don't know who I am, now you know, kind of song. It's a lot of energy, you know what I mean? It's getting my point across, it's getting, it's letting the people know, you know, if you in the streets, and, and you listen to this song, I am the streets. I name everything that's, I'm the this, I'm the that, I'm the this, I'm the that, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the everything that you see in the streets. You know, just that, that thing that, that, that um, set it off proper right there. Then Just Won't Do, the second song, we went, like I said, the, on a Bible on a dash feel. I had to keep it grounded. I had to give them that, that soulful vibe. You know what I mean? Um, you know, with, with my artist PJK on the hook. Um, it it's really goes in depth of, uh, you know, it, the stuff that you do, it just won't do for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like you, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I go a little bit above and beyond the call of duty. That's what that song is about. Third song, Be Like Me, you know, um, it's, the, it's the classic Maybach sound. And, um, you know, I, I get to just, just let loose out the kennel with that one, you know what I mean? I had to let some pressure go with that one. Next song is uh, um, Only One. You ain't the only one getting money. Everybody talking about I got money, I got money. I'm riding foreign and like I ain't either, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I got money too. Uh, I ride bins too. I ride foreign, you know what I'm saying? And I'm fucking hoes too, so you ain't the only one getting money, nigga. You know, so that's what Only One is. Um, the next song is with Triple C. It's called From the Jump. So From the Jump is like, it's the classic triple C sound from the jump. You know, um, you know, I've been swinging iron, AKs, ARs, laid down from the jump. Been selling straight dope. You ain't a felon. You've been telling like a straight hoe. You know what I'm saying? You know, just everything is from the jump. You know, from the jump, I've been doing this. And from the jump, you've been a pussy and your bitch been a slut. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So shout out to Young Breed. Shout out to Torch. Triple C's on there. They killed it. Um, the next one. Uh, after From the Jump is um, What's Happening Though, you know what I mean? Um, you know, we kept the vibe, you know, the L.A. vibe with that one. Um, super dope. It was produced by uh, DJ Mustard and y featuring YG. You know, I love the West Coast, you know what I mean? I love their sound. I love the swag. And, um, and I just wanted to do, you know, bring the South to the West, make them bow to the best with that one, you know what I mean? And then, then we go into um, Now It's Time to Chill and Chain Smoking, you know what I mean? Shout out to Currency, shout out to Stally. And it was a real vibe, vibe record, man. You know, when you just, 
you know, we done turned up for a little bit. Now let's smoke one, man. And you know what I'm saying? Post something up. Man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Smalls and, you know, my shot right here. You know what I mean? We're going we gonna, to we gonna drink up right now. You know what I mean? So um, that's what that vibe is. You know what I mean? It's just a, it's just a, let's chill out for a minute. Let's soak it all in, and then, and then, and then, um, and then come back with a record called "White Bitch." You know what I'm saying? Um, it's all about, you know, my favorite drug. <laughs> you know, it's all about the cocaine, man. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, I don't do it anymore, but you know what I mean. Um, white bitch, it's it's a real catchy record. It's a real club record. It's a real loud record. Um, it, it it courts attention when you hear the record. You know what I'm saying? The beat, the hook, and then and then what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? It's super dope, man. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it's a real turn up kind of record, and I, I love that record right there. And then we go into uh, we go into blood on the dope, where. Uh, it's featuring PJK again, my artist, and Yo Gotti. Uh, shout out to Yo Gotti. Always kept it trill with me. Salute if you're seeing this, man. And um, it's called Blood on the Dope. So what it is, my partner PJK calls me up. He hurting. Like, man, I need some, you know, I need some money, man, to put me up on something, man. You know what I mean? Anything, man. I rob whoever. I hit whoever, whatever. And I was like, you know, that's music to my ears. I got a spot right now. I'm going to point it out. I'm going to put you down. You know what I mean? So, and then... It starts off where, um, you know, hey, that's that crib right there? Yeah, right there. Two workers, one pit bull, cocaine, and 100000 in fair. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I basically sent them off in there. I, I showed them the crib. I told them who's in there, what's in there. Go handle your business. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm putting you on the lick. So now, second verse, PJK comes on, and he, he describes how he executed the lick to a T perfectly. You know what I'm saying? The video's crazy. Is the, the the song is dope, and then and then Yo Gotti came came in and just basically mopped everything up. You know what I'm saying? And solidified it right there. So that Blood on the Dope record is is got to be one of my favorite records on there. You know. Then we go into uh, in the dark days. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know the times that that I felt where I wasn't gonna get out the belly of the beast. I wasn't gonna rise from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? I, I felt it was it was those days was dark. It was real bad. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we could talk about the triumph and all that and overcoming shit and being a living legend. But at one time, I didn't even know if I still was going to be living or I was going to have freedom. So on dark days, I, 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 I tapped into those days that, 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 that I really felt I wasn't going to come back from. And, 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 and I brought it out and I put it on a record. And, and it's called Dark Days. <clears throat> you know, I talk about the case. I talk about my, you know, you know, you know, few people that turn their back on me. And, um, you know, I, I play that song and, and it, you can hear the anger in my voice. You know what I'm saying? When you when you hear that. And then the last 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 but not least, the last song on the album is called Leave the Game. Um, my mom gives me a call on it, you know, starting it off. And she's just like, you know, you were real strong minded strong-willed individual, you know what I mean, you know, um, but, you know, no matter how many times you go to jail, you know, and fuck up, just just do me one favor, and she said, just don't leave the game, man, never leave the game, and um, and then it starts off, and it's really a, a dramatic kind of song, you know what I mean, the beat, and everything is just, you know, you know, by the second or third verse, like, you know, when I'm performing it, I, I, I tear up, you know what I'm saying? Because it's really one of those songs where, you know, um, you know, again, I, when I didn't think I was going to make it up out this shit, you know what I'm saying? And um, and, and I can't leave the game no, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? Even if I try it, you know, so so that really, that's the real breakdown of the album right there and, 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 and what I think embodies a living legend. When you're dealing with a major label, it's a lot of red tape when you're putting out songs. So there's a lot of samples that was on there that we had to remake and stuff like that. Um, other than that, it's, you know, everything is, is, is what you see is what you get. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, you know, and, and like I said, and that, and that Leave the Game song, writing the record had me tearing up writing it. You know what I mean? So 
when y'all hear that, you know it's coming from my heart. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. And you know, whoever got the record, I appreciate it. I salute. You know what I mean? Um, and um, I hope you just, you know, just, you know, here's my life. Here you go. You know what I mean?